We really need to do something about this garden, don't we? Alrighty, well, welcome back everybody to House Flipper. We are, this is House Flipper with all the DLCs installed on start. Um, well, that is all the DLCs that exist. The uh, the ranch DLC hasn't come out yet, so we're, we're, we're good. But, I know, these dirty patches are starting to drive me crazy. Where are they? Oh, my broom is driving me crazy, I know. My dog's bed is driving... Oh, look, it's all driving me crazy. We need a bigger house. Can we afford one? We could. We could buy the next house up. Why don't we do that? I know, I promised you a, a garden job. We're going to buy a house first, and then we'll go to our garden job. We have 36 for purchase. The camping bungalow is not very big. We have 48 grand. What can we buy? I know, a lot of people just buy them one after the other. I just want to buy a bigger office. That's too big. That's tiny. I don't think this one's going to be big enough. You know what we want for our house? I Probably the many generations house. Possibly the house with uninvited guests. I don't know. We'll see. Admin, leg Admin Legends. We could just buy that. And that's got this massive living room. We could have, make it into a big pets room. All right. We need 76 grand. To get 76 grand, we are going to spend a little bit on these things. We're not going to spend a lot of time on them to start with, though. We're just going to stay here. That's going. To, that's our first house for house for um, cleanups and extra bits and bobs. Okay. In our mail, we are going to go remove some bushes from Ethan. You need to remove the bushes. Hey there, I have a bit of a problem. I tried to deal with weeds in my garden and got some kind of herbicide to get rid of them. Oh my god. Luckily, just to test it out, I used it on a couple of them and quickly realised that it's extremely effective. <laughs> oh no. It destroyed the weeds as well as my bushes. I'm really glad I didn't spray it all over my yard, but unfortunately I did it right in front of the entrance. Now the plants in that area are dried up and look pathetic. Please wipe them out and fill that spot with some fresh grass. Oh, and if you could mow my lawn as well, that would be fantastic. Best regards, Ethan. All right, Ethan, let's uh, let's go and fix your um, whoa, your disaster. Holy dooly! In the main menu, you have the possibility to change the current player profile. Each profile allows you to play in a different game. It does too. I have four of them. Congratulations, you have unlocked a new tool. From now on, you'll be able to cut grass using the garden brush cutter also known as the weed whacker i should have left the dog at home actually because we got poison around never mind it's not a puppy hopefully it won't put it in its mouth radio uh the bush the bush this thing also known as a weed whacker a brush cutter oh what else have i heard it called oh It's not supposed to be used for trimming dogs. Uh, okay. She doesn't seem to mind, however. We'll just... No, okay. She's going to sit in the middle of the grass I need to trim. Alright, so note to self, next time I have a mowing job, don't bring the dog. The dog is a pain in the neck. It's like, hi boss, I love you. I could do with some attention. Now, you know, every other time I've done this job, including on the playthrough that you guys can't see, I sneak around the corner but do you know what I don't need to there's actually this thing around here called a gate we're gonna get the dog to go through here uh, shortly actually I'm gonna mow through here first she can guard the front and not bother me while I'm trying to mow <laughs> little rat um anyway every other time I sneak through but there's this thing called a gate that you can just walk through and it makes your life so much easier Now she's barking in frustration because I've locked her out of where I'm at. She better not be eating the postman. I mean, it's not even my postman for her to eat. There we go. All right, so we are 61% through on Mow the Lawn. This is to where you find uh, your, your little... Mini map is really useful. If you have a look up in that top corner, you'll see the bits that need mowing are uh, a dark green, and bits that we've mowed and have at the right level 
uh, light green. And that is one of the perks that you can get. Uh, oops. See, so you can see all the little bits you've missed, which is kind of helpful when you're trying to 100% your job. I have to say, this is one of the things I find a lot easier to use than, um, than when I first started. It's been a while since I used it, though. All right. There we go. Have we, we've only 97%ed it, though. So let's see what we've missed. Any dark green bits? This little bit over here. That didn't shake it. Nope. Okay, there's a little bit out the front. I might just see if I can squish through here. There we go. I know, right? Bad builder. Oh, there we go. So there was that tiny little bit of dark green that we saw on the map was what was holding us up. Oh, and maybe, I don't know, this dog. Actually, we're going to just get her to come into the backyard now. Come up. She doesn't like the whippersnipper. I don't blame her, actually. She's up the other end of the yard. I'm not coming near you while you got that going, boss. I don't blame you, Papa. Alrighty, we need to spread the grass roll in the area. <laughs> no, don't you help me, you toad. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Excellent. Okay, do not leave the boss any presents. Radio. You just walk through a closed gate. You are a magic, magic unicorn. Just going to move into the space I need. Grab my turf roll. Grab large. Hopefully the dog's not going to be too much of a problem. She is. She, she's an animal. Alrighty. Fine. I'll go and deal with this section. But yeah. So basically this grass roll here is a little bit too big and um, for that area. So it's not going to let us spread it there, but it will let us spread it here. So we're going to use our large grass roll here. And if you have a look up in your window, you'll see that it's beautiful. Just E to cut and finish that section. You don't get to use the unused bit. We're going to grab another one. We might use a large one as well. It's only a tiny bit. Seems like overkill, but hey, here we go. Boom. E, use that. And we'll cut and finish that one. Alrighty, we're not done yet. We've got this little section here. And as long as the dog doesn't <laughs> help. Oh, man. Uh, we're going to go to turf roll. We're going to go to medium. <laughs> I love you too, but you are such a menace. Such a menace dog. Oh dear. We're going to pop this here. And we're going to go use. And we're going to pop this down. You just get used to working around the pub after a while. You know. Yes, because you are a good doggy, aren't you? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. <laughs> Alrighty. Good. Okay. So uh, now that we've patted the dog, let's get back to let's get back to using a small turf roll. I'm I'm not looking. Hey Dinko. And that'll be that. We're not done yet though. What have we Oh 88%! That's because I've got a bouncing critter right at the top, isn't it? Come here you. Come on. Excellent. Okay, I'm thinking, if you have a look, there's this tiny little bit of dirt up here. And I'm thinking this could be our problem. So let us just line up this bit of turf. And we can finish because we put it in the wrong spot. Well, now we know that. Anyone want a dog going cheap? Come here, dog. Come on. Okay, you know what? Because I'm daft and I'm not giving her commands. Come here. Come here. You're a good girl. Stay. There you go. Oh, so much easier. If she follows me now, I'm going to cry. Um, okay, so remember to tell your dog to stay 
when you're trying to do something like this because she's beautiful. She'll come up and she'll stand right in front of you. Alrighty, let's see what we've missed here. 90%. All right, I'm not seeing it. Oh, no, yes, I am. Okay, see this line here? I'm going to say that that's our problem child, and we're going to fix it. So let us grab one of these teeny tiny turf rolls again. All right, looks like it only unrolls one way, so just be aware of that. Now lay it right over the middle of that thing there. Boom, that was it. So yeah, if you ever think you've got 100 coverage, look for grooves in the grass and you will discover that uh, maybe your coverage is not as good as you thought it was. Ah, he's such a good girl. Good dog. You can have a treat for staying over there. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And you get a pat. We're going to pat the other side of her head now. You know, I've had my mic sitting way over there for I don't know how many episodes. Here we go. And we're going to get her to follow me because I don't want her to stay home. Just stay where she is. Good girl. And we're going to go home. Come on, pop. Alrighty, this should look... Let's see. It looks a lot nicer already. Just a quick mow and it's less of a jungle and more of a, more of a yard. I like the patterns on the wall too. I hadn't thought of alternating brick and paint like that. Okay. Radio. I know, I've got... Let's just scrub this part of the wall. I think it's where the window used to be and I don't think I cleaned the window before I, um, I took it out. So anyway. Boop. We are... Yo, whoa, 11 more jobs. Alrighty. A small lawn and a pool. The trees need cutting down. A playground and a barbecue. Now I'm trying to remember which one of these might have the mower in it. I actually think it might be a small lawn and a pool. So we'll go and do that now. I know, I'm supposed to be wanting to, to bang down some walls as well, but we won't do that. We'll do the small lawn and a pool. Xavier Wolski. A small lawn and a pool. Hello. I have been home for in a while and it's gotten a bit overground overgrown. I haven't got time for mowing, especially because my plot is quite large, so I'll gladly hand the work over. Moreover, I'd love to have a decent swimming pool in the garden. Please place it near the terrace. Regards, Xavier Wolski. All right, Xavier. Let's, uh, let's see what we can do for Xavier. Oh my giddy aunt, this is going to be a pain in the neck to clean with a whippersnipper. Hopefully, my fingers crossed. Yes. When I was doing this in my other game, I just looked at the grass and pulled out the whippersnipper. Did not look for the mower until I kind of got to, you know, finishing whippersnipping the entire yard. Uh, and here we go. Now, I'm just going to grab this dog. You, come here. Come on, you need to come over here. Come on. Alrighty, because I don't want to mow you. Come here. That's it. Alright. You can stay. Okay. Good girl. Because dogs don't like mowers either. All right, new tool available. From now on, you can make use of the lawn mower. Choose it from the tools menu, then use it by pressing E. Sure thing. Seeing as it's already out. Okay, space or left mouse to hold to mow and shift. And there we go. Uh, I'm actually using my W key to move me forward. I'm just going to... What we probably will end up doing um, is we're going to end up trimming the edges with the weed whacker. You were told to stay, you little rat. I know, don't mow the dog. I get it, I get it, I get it. So sometimes, obviously, oh, mischievous. Okay, your dog is not that obedient when it's mischievous, I guess. See it? I'm going to lock you in the house and throw away the key dog. Also, I was out of sight, so she's not very happy when I'm out of sight, I guess. Normal for a pup. 
She's not getting a treat though. She did not stay. So basically, I, I could weed whacker this and just show you how much longer it used to take before they added in the lawnmower, but they added the lawnmower in and it took me ages to adopt it because I'm not very good at driving. Um, and now now I really miss it when it's not there <laughs> because it's, it's just that useful. And it gets your lawns mowed pretty quick. I know, I'm going to be just... And then they put in this ghost stuff as well, so now you don't have to worry about stopping whenever you come to a tree, or going round it with your whippersnapper or your weed whacker, and uh, trimming it. I'm a little bit worried about my dog, because I can't see what she's up to. She's not being the most obedient critter in the world at the moment. I know, I, I should have a leash. It'd be much better if I had a peg in the leash, then I could make sure she stayed in one spot and didn't go exploring the neighborhood and, I don't know, visiting strange dogs, chasing other people's cats. Is it not a tomcat that did that? Chase other people's cats. Which doesn't sound unusual for tomcat behavior until you realize he was chasing them into their houses and so he was chasing other people's cats in other people's houses. He was a very naughty boy. It wasn't as bad as when he was fishing for other people's fish in other people's fish tanks in other people's lounges. That was definitely, definitely a naughty kitty. He was uh, a big Siamese cat. Gorgeous. Had many kittens all over the neighborhood. You're gonna. Do. She, yeah. I know. I know. I know. I know. I've got a pet that's got mischievous as a trait. What am I gonna do? Obedience classes and a leash. And now you're barking at the neighbor's cat. Well, it's not my neighbor, I guess. I know. There's something very, very therapeutic about mowing the lawn. It used to be one of my chores as a kid. Um, we used to not have very good safety standards, so um, we'd be out there in Mount Isa and the hard red dirt and the choppy grass and the meat ants, which are like like a little ant that's about a centimetre long. And they would, um, they'd be fine unless you walk over their nest. So you can just imagine the state they were in if you mowed over their nest. And seeing as grass is pretty indiscriminate where it grows, uh, that happened quite a bit. You'd think I would have learned to wear shoes, but uh, no, I just learned not to stop long enough for the ants to climb up on my feet and eat my toes. There we go. Alrighty. So the grass, is that 100% mode? Man, you guys are easy to please. Alrighty. Let's just do a quick snip around the edge because I'm pretty sure there are bits in here that, see, that I missed. Right, there we go. So we're just going to do a quick snip around the edge and we're going to um, make sure that... Uh, there's no more dark green beds. I'm not obscomp. You're obscomp. See, see, you can't have that. It's just messy. All of those little dark green squiggles you can see in the top right hand corner, those are, um, those are patches of grass that did not get mown. 
And once upon a time, that would have been the end of your completion until you found each and every little one. So I guess they, they've they made the game a little bit more forgiving uh, as well, which are, it's not a bad thing. But uh, in your own places, if you want to get it perfect, make sure you pay attention to round the base of the houses and round the base of your fence lines. Like, you know, you would in an ordinary house. It almost looks to me like the garden has escaped into the house. Okay, that's not with the snip the dog. Radio, that's all done. So we've got this part of the garden all complete. The job is mostly done. And if you have a look over here. Okay, we've entered, see this, this green line? We've entered a whole new zone. And in this zone, we need to put in a pool. Let's, um, let's do a nice brown pool to match the, the bricks on the thing. We'll just pop it there. Just get yourself out of the pool or it won't let you place it. They have given us a magic shovel because this thing can dig pool holes very, very quickly. Uh, we're going to plant our pool. We'll just grab this thing and we're going to fill it up. At least we don't have to kind of scrape the earth over. So that's pretty good. Radio. Now we need two wooden sun lounges to go in. Let's see if we can find a timber that's... Yeah, let's go with the dark cherry. We could just paint it red. No, I like this better. That's nice cherry wood. We might pop them, put one here. Actually, you know what? We could... Yeah, we could sit them side by side. There we are. Put a coffee table in the middle and there you go. Job is done. Let's find that dog. Where did she go, George? This is another one of those houses that has um, interspaced brick and um, and paint. Okay, she's pretending to sit and stay. You are such a good puppy, kind of. Follow me and you can have a pat. Yeah, good girl. Alrighty, let's head out. We have unlocked our mower. What else can we unlock today? Enter. 100% of the job, we've gotten 8,000 and a bit. Not bad, there you go. That is a definite improvement. There, see guys, we did good. <laughs> right, Dolan Trusk down the corner there says the walls should be white. If, if I could avoid... Whoa! Hello, Pop. How do I get you on the treadmill? Come here. Oh, wait. Maybe maybe if I operate the controls? No. Okay. I will work it out eventually. Possibly not today. All right. We are at 20,000. Oh, my gosh. These jobs are like weeds. We can unlock our axe. I remember being very excited the first time I saw the axe. All right, Catherine, trees need cutting down. Hi, I've got some trees on my lot. My grandfather planted them. They've grown so big, they've overshadowed the entire lot. Nothing's growing underneath them. And I've been dreaming of a flowery garden and catching some sun on my deck. I need you to cut down at least two of them. Can I count on you? Oh, and I really want a small pond by the deck. All that's needed is to remove the trees and place a pond. I'll take care of the flowers myself. Thanks, Catherine S. Sure thing, Catherine. Let's go make your dream come true. We are... You know, I don't think I um, I looked at my perks either. We'll have to do that in a minute too. You've unlocked the axe. Congratulations, you've unlocked a new tool. Getting rid of big trees requires cutting them down first. This is where an axe comes in handy. Remember that for safety reasons, the tree has to be cut as low as possible. Oh low. Oops. All right, pup. Please don't stand in front of me while I'm wielding the axe. Low as possible. Oh, well, that would be what I'm doing wrong then. I normally cut the tree up here. <laughs> so <laughs> low as possible, huh? 
All right, I'm just going to zip around to the side. I found they fall over a little bit quicker if you um, chop around them. Pretty sure you, this is not good chopping technique for the real world. Particularly when your dog decides it wants to stick its head right in the way. Whoop! E to remove the tree trunk. Let's get this one done. I'm trying to encourage it to fall away from the house and onto the neighbor's fence. I mean, onto the fence. No, into the open space of the yard, but I don't think it's going to obey me. Dog, please get your big buff head out of where I'm swinging this axe. That is a good girl. See, she won't stay. And please get out from under the tree. <laughs> no. What are you doing? Yeah, you, I'm not interacting with you while I'm holding an axe. That would be unwise. Let us find. Again, we've got this green line. If you step outside the green line, you'll lose what you need to do. So if you step inside the green line, it's so much easier to complete your task. We're going to make it red. Oh, I, so I suppose we could make it brown. I was going to say, yeah, no, no. Let's make it red to match the um, everything else. There we go. And she can, she can bury it. Oh, not bury it. She can fill it and put flowers and... Garden to her heart's content. Let's just wander around here, grab the pond, cover it up, just make the edges all neat. Fill the pond, the pond it was planted, I know. There we go. All right. All tasks are completed. 100% of the job, we're good. Awesome. Is the dog completely just flaked out on the ground? I don't know. I think the trees are going to be missed, to be honest, because, I mean, the sun is going to hit the end of that house and just heat it up like nobody's business. Kitchenette should be in the living room. Well, okay, have it your way. Okay. Just check on her needs. No needs. All right, she can come to the job with me. She's some... Um, She's beautiful. 15 jobs. All right. Playground and Barker, these were all in. Horrible colors, extra bathroom. I think the extra bathroom is where we get our ability to tile. And then most of these, yeah, most of these are just to help us get our, um, well, they're good for earning money, but they're also good for getting our, our perks up. Speaking of which, we'll check that in a minute. Additional walls. Thomas Johnson. Good afternoon. I need some alterations made to my two-room house. Um, my daughter's now three and we feel it's time she has her own room. Please divide the bedroom into two rooms and make sure the new rooms both have doors that connect to the corridor. Could you please also put in a new bed and remove and sell the crib? Yours faithfully, Thomas Johnson. All right, Tom, we'll get this done. I love that you can make these paintings bigger now. And I can interact with some items. Okay. Quick scoot for weeds. I don't think there are too many weeds in this garden. We could mow this garden too. Ha oh, ha, we could. Wait, is that a weed? No, that was a dog. We're good. Alrighty. Daughter's now three. I think what we'll do is we'll mow the lawn. <gasps> mow the lawn. We can mow the bunny's lawn and finish that job up too. Oh, let's do that as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Nothing out here. Let us quickly ghost mow this yard. This is our, our gift to them, I guess. Man, I love the mower. You know, I forgot to go around and, and whip a snip the edge of that other garden. Too busy waffling. Uh, steering with my WASD keys. As you can see, I'm not perfect at it. I'll get there. I keep saying it. I've been saying it now for about two years. Uh, hmm. I know, right? 
Here's the dog, having fun in the front yard, not destroying anything, not digging any holes, not chasing any moles. It's the one pole that does not, does not go. Alright. So basically, um, your gardening perks also increase by the amount of time you spend mowing, which is probably a good thing, given how much time we spend mowing in this game. Once you have Garden Clipper. So you need to have Garden Clipper in order to mow. I know, we'll come back for that little bit of hairy scary in a minute. It's all good. I swear, I think this is, it's gotten faster, or, or I've improved, which, ah, bog. Alrighty, I know, she's, how to have heart attack, just get a pet. It's it, kind of like kids too, how to have a heart attack, just, just have a kid. If you're really f not fond of your heart, have several. I know. I have kids. And I wouldn't trade them in. They definitely make our world go round. Ah, uh, yes. Gardening. Actually, I don't think I've taught either of mine to mow. Man, I was doing that by the time I was 11. The mower was nearly as big as I was. One of those old fashioned heavy clunky things. I think he dropped it over the edge of the gutter a couple of times. Would not have been a good thing. for you do this because I like a good working environment and I love the ghost mower Okay, I would feel guilty about that, but we're all good. The dog is mower proof. As far as the mower is concerned, it is a ghost dog. Yes. Oh my gosh, which is a really good thing because I swear she's giving me oh, absolute heart failure. We're just going to whippersnip that end. I know, it's driving me crazy because I can see grass. There should be no grass. All grass must die. Okay, or be shortened. Shortened, because if it dies then it's not pretty and green. It doesn't cover our lawns. Though why do we need grass as lawns anyway? Because, I mean, it's not like we're growing cows or anything. Mind you, it is nice to walk on. It's just it's really water thirsty. There we go. Oh wow, I can go snow this. That is so much easier. That is so nice. All right, quick run around the edges. You know how it works. I know, I promise we'll get started on the, the actual job soon, but uh, in the meantime, 
We're gonna fix up our garden perks pretty quick. Alrighty. Just looking for those bits of dark green that we've missed. Alright, that's done. Okay. Oh man, I feel so much better now. Let's head on inside. What were we supposed to be doing in this house? We were repairing an electrical outlet, sure thing. See, so much easier. I like it, you just hold your left mouse button down, drag it across the screws, and they all go in. Boom, that's this room done. Okay, let's have a quick look in here. Alrighty. We have our hammer because we made a door in our own house. Dog, you're not helping. I know, she's trying to catch the bricks as they fall. It's it's a worry, this dog. I, I know, I wish I could replace her party hat with a hard hat. Poppy with a hard hat. Because uh, Fair Dinkum, when we're taking out these things, I just worry that she's going to get clumped on the head with a brick. Because she's not exactly staying out from underfoot. I should tell her to stay again. That worked so well last time, though. Aha. Alrighty. So what I'm doing is I'm just looking for, on a mini-map, where there's still bits of yellow. And uh, then I'm finding them here. So once that wall is gone, it's gone. Over this way. Well, wow, this is my is this my marker? Or is it just a rogue red stripe? I, I guess we'll find out. Let's build ourselves a wall. Nope, that's my marker. Look at that. Oh, and they've changed the colour. They did say they did this. Um it used to be a, that you couldn't tell very easily where you were about to build your wall because the um actually let me just go into here okay demolition let's go for a bigger hammer and we'll open negotiating for selling houses um ooh, there's increased digging speed down here let's all right let's do this grass placement not sure what that means okay I was kind of hoping that we we could have painted walls but I think I would need to have um, I need to do a lot more building of walls to do that they also said that they're going to exp have expansions coming for um, yes there we go we're gonna have painted walls which means I'm still going to have to paint in this job, but in all the next jobs, I'm not going to need to. Go there. There we go. Boom. Alrighty. So I think rather than leave this family with a, um, a dirty great big brick wall, we're going to just go find the white paint, which is under walls, it's under paint, it's right there in front of us. I wonder if I can get the dog to fetch my paint can for me. I did see in the, um, in the video that the dog was carrying the paint can. 
I do want to take her hat off. I'll have to work out how to do that. Okay. But uh, let's let's just grab. I know there she goes. It's not a dog. It's it's a rabbit. Big big rabbit. Uh, we're buying a bed grill. It's a little girl, so we're going to buy her a pink, pink, pink. And we're going to maybe lighten out the wood. That'll do. It won't fit under there, which is annoying. Come here, <laughs> little rat. Stay. Okay. Ah, don't even. Right, let's try and put this bed in. I oh, know. What is the point of having stay if she won't stay, man? All right, let's see if we can get her. Come here. No, we're, no, we're not playing fetch. I want you to get the paint can, you little rat. All right, I've got no idea. Uh, I'm going to have follow me again. There we go. Because, I mean, she's going to do that anyway. Um, and I need my paint can. Because we're not, we're not leaving uh, the... This wall unpainted. No, I swear, if you leak the paint roller again, dog, I'm going to be very upset with you. I know, she's like, come on, I want to pat. Pat me. I'm a good dog. You're so not a good dog. It says so in your traits. Okay, we're going to grab the um, paint can. I'm just going to go put this on the kitchen table. Uh, right, we're good. Now, a note on the power outlets. When I did this task in another profile, there was a power outlet over here that needed doing, not this one over here. So if you can't, if it's not this power outlet that needs fixing, just um, chase it down on your mini map and you'll be fine. We are not 100% done yet though. What have we forgotten? Okay, that's done. That's done. That's done. Okay, both. I'm trying to work out what we haven't done. And that dog just gonna bark all over the place. Okay. There is a tiny little, we did go into the tiny little bathroom. All right, so this is, this is complete. This is complete, yes. Oh, wait, maybe there's something down here. I know, find all the, aha. Sneaky son of a gun. Another PowerPoint. So if you can't find out why your job's not complete, um, just go through every room in the house and eventually you'll find the task. One of the tasks will pop up. And you will discover what it is you needed to finish. Man, that was tricky though. That did not happen the last time I did this one. Now it's all finished. Alrighty. Uh, do we need any more handyman perks? Let's check. 23. Alright, let's go see if we've got 23 windows we can um, put, put stuff over. Because I tell you what, that will help us get what we're after. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven. No, it's not enough to just um, put them up without assembling them. You've got to assemble them. All right, so this will be seven. This will bring down our, our handyman uh, tasks required to 16. And maybe we can get that in the next job. We're going to go and um, head on back to the bunny house. I think next job so we've got our um we've got our hammer we've got our axe we have our mower we have our whippersnipper what else we haven't got our tiling tools we we need to have our tiling tools if we're going to be doing up bathrooms so maybe we don't really have time to get our tiling tools this episode. We might just go finish off the bunny house. I know one of my favorite features is the way that I can um, put blinds up on every window and then just walk around and assemble them like in one go. All right, that's that done. Let's finish off this job. How do we go? There's my dog's butt right in the middle of the picture. What's she doing? I, I shut her in there. Whoops. It's a good thing she's a teleporting puppy. Okay. I know. We need a bigger house, don't we? You know what? You need a treat, though, because you've been an exceptionally good puppy. Man, I fear for my fingers every time I do that. Let us have a look. Okay, we've done. We can practice our walls playground. Oh, wait, I'm in the wrong window. Map of jobs. We haven't finished our HGTV job. Oh, no, I don't know. Let's finish the bunny job first. Then we'll go finish our HGTV job. Grab this. We shall resume. Let Miss Alice Finbar have her... I think the only thing we wanted to do in here was the lawn. Okay. The red markers on the mini-map indicate where you need to intervene. Yes, they do. How you find your um, PowerPoints. Come on, guys. Alrighty. We can complete the job. It's 100% done. We are just going to mow this lawn. Because um, bunnies and snakes is, is my thought. So this way she'll at least have a safe starting environment for her rabbit. I will probably wander the edge and with a snip. Can I go faster? How do I do that? I've forgotten how to do that. That's okay. Well, actually, I haven't learnt. That was a butterfly. <laughs> awesome. Alrighty. So what we'll do is we'll mow this down so that she's got um, a safe zone for her rabbit. Ah, there are her rubbish bins, radio. Good to know. I know, I just want to see what this property looks like with a nice nice mown yard on it. It's not like they um they add tasks when you've got a, a DLC or not. So um I don't think they've got a way of detecting if you have it so that you can... Well, they should have. There we go. I know, it used to make me dizzy as a kid too. Round and round and round we go. Where we stop, there's no one know. 
That is a huge yard though, isn't it? So this is about how long it will take you to mow uh, Alice Finbar's yard. Well, it's exactly how long it will take you to mow Alice Finbar's yard on a I'm not going to go zoom setting. I know, I'm going to miss a swathe there. I'll come back for it. It's just I think the mower's idea of a straight line and mine might be two different things. Or I can't mow in a straight line, one of the two. That would probably be it though. It's all right, we'll, we'll come back and get that, I know. For those of you who are like, but you missed a bit, I did. It's driving me as crazy as it's driving you. Butterfly is so cute. Oops. <laughs> Dog's chasing me. Let me just get my mower out again. Can you please not help, puppy? Just, you know, saying. They sprint. No, I can't sprint with the mower. Oh, I'm trying to work out how to make the mower go faster, so I'm pressing random buttons. I might just just have to bear with it and just run run it through as it as it goes. All right, we'll go back the other way. This bit done. Almost there. So it's possible this may work out better over shorter distances. Or I may steer better over shorter distances. Depends on your outlook there. There we go. Let's get this section here done. Is that my dog in the middle of the grass again? Hi mum, you're mowing. I think I'll just lie here where you're likely to run me over. Okay, fine puppy. Ah! I will sleep under the mower. Okay. Strange dog. I'm actually really looking forward to the um, is it Farm Flipper, the next DLC. And they, they're going to be um, doing little updates as well. You know what I'm not missing? 
I am not missing not being swooped by a, I'm not missing being swooped by a magpie because it doesn't like the noise of the mower. That's oh for fury's sake. Definitely not something I'm missing. Mind you, most of them don't seem to mind. What they do is they follow you around. And because you've cleared the grass, they can hunt for bugs a lot more easily. So they follow you around and eat the bugs that are running because you disturbed the um, where they were hiding and living. So magpies, yeah, they tend to be not too bad when it comes to the mower. Unless you're stupid enough to chase them with it, in which case you deserve everything you get. The trick is to teach the dog not to chase them. Because, oh, really? Especially mischievous dogs who think it's funny to watch things squawk and flap because they ran at them. That this one would be right in there, wouldn't you, lass? There is definitely a long learning curve for this girl. I wonder if, um,. If we, if we get puppy obedience school for our mischievous puppies. You know, whether whether or not it's a mechanism where we train them or whether it's a mechanism where we send them to be trained. Um, oh, for goodness sake. I know, I'm getting tired. My hands are not doing quite what I want. Let's go again. We're nearly done. We're not stopping till we're done. And I'm actually really curious to see what other jobs are in. Um, this is only our first pet job. And no, mowing is not part of it. And no, you don't have to do it. I just do because snakes. And it also, if I'm going to be taking my dog on the job, um, I definitely want to have less chance of her coming back with ticks or snakes or whatnot. So you can call it a selfish motivation if you like. But uh, the primary for this one was the bunny, was the bunny. The bunny needs a safe environment. Technically we should be mowing about the foot out on the other side. Also bushfires. We definitely want to be mowing out on the side just to give it less fuel to get up to the house with. Two new gardener skills now. I suspect it might be. It gives you like a time for mowing, so we must have done an awful lot of mowing to be getting the skills just from our mowing. There we go, around the edge. My gosh, there's dirt on that. We, we need to go fix that. We cannot hand the client a dirty house. Alrighty. Let's uh let's see if we can find where this dirt is. Pretty sure I spotted it out the back here. Oh my! Whoa! Wow, I am seriously hoping you did not do that, dog. Alright, it is done now. Okay, I must have missed that bit in the instructions. <laughs> do be do be do troublemaker. Okay, everything is done. We're going to get six grand out of that. The house looks, yeah, it looks nice and clean. The bunny's got its own enclosure because we don't have fenced off stairs, although I don't know if that would have been an option. But um, there we go. Let's tell Alice her house is done. Complete the job. It's much of an improvement, I think. I like the lights. <laughs> Dog's like, where'd you go? 
cleaned up your mess, puppy. So much better, look at that. All right, so we only have one unfinished job now. Achievement unlocked, what's in the box? Okay. Alrighty, so if we go into our tablet just before we finish the ep this episode, we'll see we have uh, a bunch more jobs. Whoa, some Christmas jobs. Some bunker jobs because we have the um, the bunker DLC with the free one. Alrighty. We also have our map of jobs. Oh, Morgan's pet care. Whoa, what's this? Oh boy, we're gonna have a we'll have a look at this um, next episode, I think. Wow. Okay. Oh, I'm excited. Um, let us head into our map of jobs. All right. So in our map of jobs, we just have just there we are this one to finish uh we've unlocked we've now done enough jobs to unlock our first luxury flipper job which is the boat and house flipper pets now has another job ready for us no it doesn't oh yes it does look oh my gosh hey we can buy that house now right yeah we can if we have enough money wow this place is really spread out isn't it I know I'm just exploring now so we have this place will be our next our next one um, I won't get into it now I'll, uh, honest I will try my best not to get sidetracked so there we go so we have three jobs one in each of our DLCs we have an absolute ton of missions uh, we need to before we go too much further though we need to unlock I think it's necessary extra bathroom um we need to do I, th I think that's how many tools have we got left to go now okay yeah so this should be our bathroom and then there, there'll be one for patching walls okay hey puppy and out here yeah we've got two more tools i think one of those is the flamethrower and i completely forget what the other <laughs> one is Okay, so on that note, guys, I am going to bid you shoot. <laughs> there's my puppy in the grass. Does she need anything? No needs. Alrighty. Come on, dog. Let's get you inside where your bed is comfy. That's my girl. And uh, we're going to say goodbye. You guys take care out there. If you liked it, hit like. If you want to see more, hit subscribe. And I will check you later. Take care.